Have you ever bought something or invested in something and you just felt like, man, I did a great job picking it out? Mm. Let's fly you away, just you and me. I need a little break from the city. It's been so long since we've been gone. What is up guys? Welcome back to 86 Ambrosia. It's your girl Jen. That's with one J and two N's and this is my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here and this is your first time ever clicking on a vlog by your girl Jen, welcome and thank you so very much for clicking on that thumbnail that brought you into this unboxing, this Hermes unboxing featuring the Oran sandals. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Now guys, if you've been rocking out with your girl Jen for quite some time and you caught my luxury wish list for 2022, I'm like executing things off of my list already. And I am so excited to do this unboxing slash like first impression slash try on slash like do these shoes fit for a foot that's not necessarily narrow because a lot of the reviews feature narrow feet or people with narrow feet. So I can't wait to just get into all the things that is the Oran sandal, which I am calling the perfect sandal for spring. Now I do want to quickly say that I actually purchased two luxury items and not just the sandals that I'm about to unbox and share with you guys but I wanted to break them up and make them into two separate vlogs instead of giving them to you together because I really want to focus on the Oran sandals now and then in the next vlog that I have coming out next Wednesday so this time next week I'm going to share with you the second item that I purchased that was on my well excuse me up uh, up uh. It is a luxury item, a really nice, lovely luxury item, but it was actually not on my luxury wish list. So we'll get into that next week. So first things first, guys, this is the packaging that my Oran sandals came in. As you can see, I still have the card on top, but whenever I am shopping anything that costs me a pretty penny, okay, anything that is costing me a cute coin, I like to go for the complimentary packaging and the gift wrapping if that's possible so I have a card here to myself you know <laughs> card to myself Whew. on the inside you get your invoice um, very nice very well done in my card I just told myself what every woman should tell herself which is go out and be cute <laughs> Go out and be cute. You know, so I changed my setup just a little bit. I emptied my um, drawer here because what I want to do is film this as an Instagram reel. So I'm going to do my unboxing with you, but I'm going to do it as a reel. So let me put you on the tripod so that you can actually see the product come out of the box. But make sure, guys, that you join me over on Instagram. We're growing and glowing over there. And I'd love to connect with you guys over on IG. unboxing is out of the way let's actually get into the details of my Oran sandals so as you can see it has the classic H silhouette or the cutout here that adorns the top front part of the shoe and it is a backless sandal so it's a slide in slide out kind of shoe I really really love this design I feel like it's so classy and I feel like it's timeless so these shoes will serve me now these shoes will serve me next spring and next summer and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of it instead of getting a shoe or paying a good bit 
or a good coin for a shoe that's trendy that looks good now but will be out of style this time next year so now the bottoms of these shoes are made out of leather it's very very similar in design um, to my jumbo gg princeton gucci mules that i purchased last year it was in december very similar to my gucci mules okay so in your box you get two dust bags one for each shoe but if I were traveling, I probably would use the other dust bag for something else. And I would just probably put my shoes, you know, back to back. That way I'm saving space in my luggage instead of using both. Now included in the box, guys, as I was showing you during the unboxing part, they put in this natural spray, this Hermes perfume. Um, it is collection Hermescence. Assuming that this is a perfume for the body i don't think it's for the shoe but i'm gonna read because um i don't want to spray this on my body trying to be too luxurious and be breaking my skin out and be walking around smelling like leather so i'm gonna assume this for the body but uh because i've never looked at um perfume i like the gucci flora if you ask me but we'll try it out and see what it is and i'll let you guys know so let's get into sizing guys before i actually try the shoe on let me just tell you what size i am because if you are especially interested in oron sandals and you do not have like narrow feet this part may really help you so i purchased these european size in the size 39. i am a us 9 i am a straight 9 except Except for sandals. When it comes to strapless or backless sandals or heels, I can tend to be an eight and a half or even an eight, right? But in watching other reviews um, on the Oran sandals here on YouTube, they're saying if you have narrow feet, size down. If you have normal to wide feet, go with your regular size. And it all really just depends on this toe box area up here. If you go smaller, of course, it shortens this toe box area so it will come farther down on the foot and that may be the wider or the widest part of your foot so so i actually grabbed my jumbo gg princeton mules by gucci so that i could compare them to the oran sandal because they both are supposed to be a size 39 european size 39 but when i put these shoes back to back heel to heel there's almost an inch or an inch and a half difference and both of these shoes are supposed to be let me make sure it's heel to heel both of these shoes are a 39 guys they are 39 european size but there's almost literally an inch and a half difference between the gucci uh mules and then these oran sandals by airman so i don't know if that's about to be a problem off the bat like whoo i'm nervous all right guys so i picked my camera up off the tripod because what i wanted to do is actually give you the top view of the shoe rather than giving it to you from the front that way you can actually see a normal to somewhat wide foot in the shoe and be able to tell how my foot is filling out the shoe and then the tightness of the silhouette the h cut out and all of that so initially in sliding my foot into the shoe i did feel a bit of discomfort and when i say discomfort you know that you're putting on fresh new leather if that makes sense but just standing in the shoe as you can see i'm on this carpet square that way i don't um you know scrape or do anything to the bottom of the shoe in case i need to send them back um, on these wood floors as you can see the shoe is loosening up just a tad bit and it's giving me more room in the toe box and now as i'm looking at it i'm kind of turning my foot side to side i can tell that I'm actually going to have to exchange these shoes and get the 40 because the 39 is too small. Um, my foot is literally to the front and also it's to the back, although the shoe is comfortable now um, because I spent what I spent on these shoes and then I have the opportunity to send these back. I am going to have to exchange these for a larger size because these are just too right on the money. You know, I need just a little bit of room because if I'm walking or something like that, I don't want someone else to see the shoes and think that my heel is hanging off the back 
even in the slightest. And I just need to go ahead and just exchange for a larger size. So I've already started the process so that I can drop these off and then my new ones can come in the mail in a matter of three days. Because let me tell you guys, I ordered these shoes on a Friday. I got these shoes Monday, a Monday, you know? So it takes no time to get these shoes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually exchange the 39s and get the 39 and a half. So the general question is, are the Oron sandals made for wide feet? Like if you have a wider foot, can you get away with the Oron sandal? And I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna say yes if you're able to size up and it gives you more room in the toe box if that's what you need without it flopping off of your foot and um, you know without it looking too big. But for the price that I'm paying, I want the shoe to fit immaculately. So I'm going to exchange these and like I say, get the largest shoe. Ooh. But at the end, I am definitely super, super excited and thrilled for my new sandal that I was able to get off my luxury wish list. Guys, do not forget that I'm sharing with you another item next week. So you gotta come back. You gotta see what I'm getting. Ooh, ooh. So with that guys, I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I just thank you so very much for rocking out with your girl Jen. If you're new here guys, make sure you smash the red subscribe button if you haven't already. And guys, down in the description box, I have my unboxing for my Gucci mules. I have my what I got for Christmas where I got a whole entire Gucci collection featuring the Marmont uh, shoulder bag and the Marmont wallet with a pair of shoes and a belt that was gifted to me from my baby. So I'll leave that down in the description box along with my very, very budget friendly try on hauls. The one that I love doing because you guys know your girl Jen lives on a budget and I love to budget shop. So I'll leave those things down in the description box as well. But guys, I just thank you once again for rocking out with your girl Jen and I will catch you in another vlog video. Bye guys.